Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're here in the F4 Phantom today. We have a uh, fleet in front of us, and uh, we have a little bit of a fleet defender scenario here. There's uh, me, obviously F4, and there should be a few more F4s in the area. Uh, we're anticipating a MiG-21 attack on this carrier fleet here, and uh, we're going to try to defend them, obviously. A uh, bunch of Phantoms on the deck there still. Please fight the urge to point out to me that this is an F4E and it's not a naval variant F4. Uh, we got some airborne contacts here. Uh, everybody's aware of that. We, we all know that the F4E is not the naval variant. Uh, this is just simply the best uh, simulation or representation of the F4 available to us. Uh, they got some, we got some more F4s flying over the, the fleet there. So we'll go ahead and join those guys. Looks like they've already identified the uh, threat direction. So we'll head over there. Uh, we are carrying the Sparrows, the Sidewinders. Uh, you know, the Sparrows are notoriously ineffective. <laughs> so I think the Sidewinders will be most of the, doing most of the heavy lifting here today. Uh, and I think that was kind of accurate in real life too. People, uh, pilots back, back in the Vietnam era, they really favored the Sidewinder over the Sparrows, but I could be wrong about that. Uh, here we go, we got a lock on this guy, but it was he's way too close, closure way too high. Uh, we're going to the vertical, I'm going to drop the tanks here. Let's get rid of those. The vertical seems to work uh, very well for the Phantom against the MiG-21. You obviously, you want to make sure you're, you're fast, you have the speed to go into the vertical. I've got my nose dropped a little bit here, and I got this guy in a two-circle fight. Um, as of right now, we are winning. There's two of them there. You can see that. I'm actually merged here with two MiG-21s. I'm just going to focus on the guy out in front. Actually, what's this? That's an F4. Okay. Uh... I kind of lost my target. I gotta find someone new. This guy, I think this guy's, yeah, MiG-21 right here. Got Tone, Fox 2. He sees it, he flares it. It went for flares. Gave up my two circle fight for a bandit of opportunity here. Fox 2 again. And hopefully that connects. Splash 1. Now I gotta deal with that MiG-21 who uh, definitely is behind me now, yep. I got him, there he is. He worked his way around the circle while I did that. Uh, I was in a two circle fight with this guy, but I kind of uh, pulled out of it, went for a target of opportunity, and uh, that gave him the opportunity to work his way around behind me. I look at him right there. He is becoming offensive, he's faster than me. He's got nose on. I'm fully defensive here. He's pulling a lead. I'm going to jank. Pull him into a roller. See if we can get the overshoot. It's going to be... It's going to be hard. He's really putting up a fight here. Okay. I can't get him to overshoot. He's not overshooting, so I need help. <laughs> I need somebody to come get this guy off my tail. He's definitely working to get his shooting position. There's somebody under underneath me. There's a phantom there. He's got a Fox 2 off at this guy. And he got him. He got him. Killed that MiG-21 right off my tail. I owe that guy a drink right there. <laughs> that was awesome. That guy, that MiG-21 was uh, 
I don't know, a few seconds away from uh, a gun solution on me, I think. Okay, uh, headed back to the fleet here, and it looks like we still have some air-to-air uh, -air targets. The ships are shooting at this guy. Uh, it's a MiG-21 right here, so I'm gonna... He looks like he's two-circle fighting someone else, so I'm gonna stick with him. Uh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. He's ripping. You can see the uh, vapors coming off him. He's pulling pretty hard. I'm gonna pull him in and see if we can get a Fox 2 shot here. Tone. Fox 2. Dropping flares, it's still tracking. Splash. Splash two, I think, for me. Very good, I'm happy with that. There's a lot going on over here. Uh, on my tail is a phantom. Looks like he just took a Fox 2 shot at somebody. I'm going to stay in my turn here. Let's see if I can find another MiG-21 to hunt. Down low, that's a Phantom. Up high. MiG-21 up high. We're going vertical. He's taking some flak fire. I don't have a lot of speed. It's going to be tight. Tone, Fox 2. It came off and it's tracking. It only had tone for like a second. <laughs> I'm surprised it tracked. And splash three now. Very good. You know, almost every time that MiG-21s engaged in dogfights with F-4s, they were absolutely slaughtered. Uh, the F-4 is an absolute MiG killer. Uh, MiGs are not dogfighters. MiG-21s, they're, they're just not dogfighters. They're high-speed uh, point interceptors, essentially. Uh, if you use them like that, which is how the Vietnamese used them for the most part, unless they got ambushed into dogfights and stuff, uh, they opted to use them in that way, and when they used them in that way, they were highly effective. The MiG-21 had uh, a lot of kills, and F-4 kills as well, because uh, it was just, you know, sneaking up, intercepting F-4s and then getting out of there. It wasn't sticking around to dogfight anybody. Um, look at this, that's another MiG-21. I have no more Sidewinders, so we gotta go for Sparrows here, which means I gotta try to get a lock. And then getting a lock is one thing, you also have to wait like a few seconds uh, for the information of the lock to be transferred to the Sparrow. Uh, and then, you know, you got ranging issues. You can't be too close. You can't be too far. Uh, there's a lot of parameters you have to get right for the Sparrow to be effective. To be able to fire the Sparrow off your wing and actually have it hit something. Uh, off in front here, I have another MiG-21. And I wonder if he's a little further away, so I can maybe get a sparrow shot on him instead. Hold on. Got him locked. I had it for a second. For a second, it told me I could shoot. But it was too soon anyway. There was no information transferred to the sparrow, I don't think. I'm going to the vertical here. You see, getting a sparrow within parameters to shoot is actually kind of difficult. Uh, it's almost always why you see me favoring the uh, the sidewinders, and like your ID, your ability to ID. That's a that's a MiG-21 right there, silver uh, MiG-21. Uh, your the, the, one of the reasons why there were so many dogfights in this era is the Sparrow is already pretty short range. Here we go. Let me get a lock here. But then in order to meet all those parameters as well, that was a Phantom by the way. This is a MiG-21. Uh, in order for you to meet all the parameters for the Sparrow, you're going to be merged by the time that even happens, you know, so not to mention the reliability issues of the Sparrows. Um, I just cannot, it's not giving me the shoot cue for the Sparrows. Oh, here he is. We're way too close. Like this is 
sidewinders might be a lot better here, but I'm way too close for sparrows. You can see uh, it's X'd out on my screen down there. Uh, let's go for some gunshots. Maybe we can get him with a gun. Ooh, those were kind of close. They're kind of close. You see, he's kind of jinking away. He's getting close to the ships. He's going to take a lot of fire. I'll stay with him. Stay on the six here. Still don't have a good sparrow shot. He's extending away. Here we go. A sparrow shot. Fox one. And it hit the water. Great. <laughs> I don't know. That might have been my fault. I might have... You know, I should have pulled vertical before I shot it. I don't know. Or he just fell into the water. I don't, I don't even know what happened there. Classic Sparrow. And he got killed by a ship. One of the, the ships got him, I think. Okay, well there he goes. And uh, good timing too, because I have very little fuel remaining. I have like 500 pounds left. Uh, it's time for me to return to the ship. I think that was the last MiG-21. There's only phantoms left here. So we'll come around uh, and land this thing. I've never done a carrier landing before with the F4. So, you know, we'll see how this goes. Uh, I might just smoke the back of the carrier. <laughs> we'll see how this plays out. <laughs> 